I'm here with Nick. So, first of all, how old are you, Nick? I just turned 24. So, tell me a bit about yourself. So, you're new at Jelly Belly. New at Jelly Belly, first year doing the pro thing. Um, yeah, just uh, got in contact with Danny uh, near the end of last year, and things fell into place perfectly, and I couldn't be uh, more excited to be here. So, Canadian, eh? Canadian, eh? I'll boot that. Um, yeah, the joke never gets old, and I think. Uh, I think that's probably part of the reason I'm on the team is they had to fill that void. Everyone got used to making fun of Will for being Canadian last year, so I just kind of fell right into place. <laughs> nice. All right, so, you know, you're on the third day, I guess, of your training camp. Taken. So, was it what you expected? Uh, were you, what surprised you this past few days? Uh, you know, I came here with completely open expectations. Like I said, first year, first year doing the, the pro gig. Um, first thing was rolling up, seeing all the bikes laid out. Name on the bike, that was a... That was a, a big thing for me, so every day has been kind of surpassing my expectations and the biggest thing, the most important thing is the already starting to get a good bond with the teammates and it's a really loose atmosphere here, so it's just it's been great. So how do you get that, that bond? Uh, I don't know, I think it's, it's been well established in the culture of the team and then uh, I think Danny hires, uh, based a lot on other riders' um, recommendations, so the kind of the culture maintains itself and I think... Uh, it's pretty easy. Everyone's pretty easy going because of that. Mm -hmm. So it kind of rolls into place. So you've been on other training camps before in previous teams, right? That's correct, yes. So uh, do you have any funny story or horror stories from training camp? Any hazing? Hazing, <laughs> hazing. Um, no, luckily, um, my first year on Trek Red Truck out of Vancouver, um, I, was, I went down early and trained with one of the senior guys on that team. So I got the hazing out of the way there. Um, <laughs> instead of being condensed into a training week, it was condensed into a month of prep. But, um, but that was a good way to do it. And then uh, the only difference here is that coming to training camp, I hadn't met any of my teammates. So, so the hazing, the hazing is taking care of itself. Um, just more in ridicule than, than, than anything other than that. <laughs> so you've already been through that, huh? Working on it. Um, as for like actual pranks or anything like that, I, I don't know. Maybe it's still yet to come, but, but uh, still tread lightly. All right. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. So, Will, tell me a bit about yourself. Myself? Well, I'm uh, second year on the Jelly Belly team uh, from Adelaide in Australia. Um, before this, I rode for an Australian team for four years with a lot of racing in Asia, so I'm pretty happy with that side of the Jelly Belly program. And, yeah, looking forward to a big 2011. So, sec third day at training camp, I guess, or second? Yeah, I'm all like confused. That. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> So it's any not time for me, so. any funny story, any hazing happening happened at Jelly Belly camp that we don't see? Um, there's not really a lot of hazing. Hmm. Um, yeah, we're all sort of still in the get to know each other phase. Um, Brad Huff did reach through a car window and bitch slap one of the young guys for no reason whatsoever after dinner last night. That was pretty funny, but <laughs> apart from that, that's, uh, that's about as far as it's gone. So in your, uh, you know, you've been. Uh, racing for a while. Any stories from previous training camps, for previous teams? You know, horror stories, funny stories at uh, camp. Not, I'm sure there is, but uh, yeah. that come to mind. Uh, when you put when you put 13 guys in the same mm -hmm. place, bad things can often happen quite easily. But <laughs> I think this year we got a pretty good mix of sort of younger guys and first year guys. So everyone sort of just just sort of dipping the toes in the water so far. Yeah. So you've got a lot of young guys this year. Um, coming in, a lot of new guys. Do you remember what it was like for you last year when you came in your first day at camp? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the last year, yeah, it was my first year in the US, so it was all sort of, um, I guess, just a matter of sort of just taking it all in and seeing how guys did it. I, for me, it was a bit different. I came over here at 26 and with, uh, I guess, I, f I felt like I had a mm -hmm. good experience for racing and, and definitely didn't feel out of my debt, so it was sort of... Um, I guess it might have been different than for some of these guys who haven't raced pro races before or anything, but we've got a good mix of older guys like Powers and Huff and that as well that can sort of spread the experience and, and get everyone up to speed um, as soon as we can. So yesterday, no, two days ago, there was the swag. <laughs> so what's the best one you got this year? Best swag. Uh, this year I made sure I got one of the, uh, the bean machines, the little uh, <laughs> the machine you put put a dime or whatever in and, and get your little handful of beans. They, they just look really cool on the counter at home, so I had to make sure I got one of them. I got one too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Will. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it home, though. <laughs> oh, 